just want to tell God we love him tonight. Here we go, put those hands together. Shout for Jesus. Here we go. One, two, three. Scream. Somebody scream. Yeah. Here we go. Sing it out. Love is a melody of freedom ringing. Voices together in the tune of love. We love. We love. We love. Jump. Come on. Here we go. Shout it out. Say, share the sound of love. Share the sound of God. Heaven sing songs of praise. One more time we shout it out. Say, the sound of God. Shout out for Jesus. Oh, yeah. Come on, all across the room, lift your voices. Here we go. Say, love is a melody of freedom bringing. Voices together. Oh, we Raise God, we give you our lives. 
On a day we acknowledge love, God, we don't do it for one reason and one day, God. We give you all of our lives. Every day, God. We commit our lives to you every day we breathe. We're open before you. We're vulnerable for you, Jesus. We drop all pride and all hindrances now. We focus on you. Come on, can you draw into Jesus tonight? Make this your prayer tonight. Search my heart and search my soul. There's nothing else that I want more. Come on, if you need this love tonight, can you tell him? Shine your light and show your face. Give him all your life tonight. Say with all my heart and all my soul, with all I am, Lord, I will follow you. Come on, if you give it to him tonight, shout it yeah. church Yeah. 
Come on, if you came in hungry tonight, lift it up to him. If you came in desperate tonight, lift it up to him. Come on, tonight, those questions, those doubts, tonight. Let him wrap you in his arms. His love is here for you. Sing it again. Cause you made all things. Come on, he wants to hear you sing it tonight. You made all things. Come on, believe it when you sing it to him tonight. All things. Even the look so impossible to you right now. You made. may seem so hard right now, but we serve a big God who makes all things. Come on, do you believe that God is in this room to make all things possible? Shout it out. All things. Now sing it like it's already done for you. You make all things. Come on, see that victory in your life tonight. You make Come on, Mike, sing it out. Cause you make all things work together for my good. Oh, you make it work together for my good. You make all things work together for my good. Cause you make all things. Here we go. You stay. You stay the same through the ages. Your love never changes. The baby pain in the night. The joy comes in the morning. When when the ocean drains, I don't have to be afraid. Cause I know that you love me, Lord, your love never fails. Come on, thank you for an unfailing love. Your love it never fails. An unfailing love tonight. Again. Come on, tell him tonight. Your friendship is into me. Tell him I feel. I feel I'm moving to the rhythm of your grace. Your fragrance is intoxicating. Secret place, cause your love is extravagant. Come on, tell him, tell him tonight, good love. 
tonight, church. Worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Your friendship isn't me. I feel I'm moving to you, Jesus. Yeah. I feel I'm moving to the rhythm of your grace. Jesus tonight. Jesus. Who wants to go deeper in Jesus tonight? Jesus. It's okay to be intimate with God. It's okay to be still before Jesus. We don't have to feel weird in God's presence. He's here. He's open arms. He loves us. So freely tonight, can you lift your hands to God? a bold choice tonight, can you open your mouth and give him all of your praise? Come on, with a bold voice, can you give him all of your worship? We don't have to feel weird or feel like it's awkward. God's here for us tonight. His love is here for you tonight. His arms are open. Come on, if you make your request made known to him, he said he'll be just. He will hear your cry. He will answer you. But you have to make it. You have to declare who he is to you first. We are a people of worship. We are not a people of spectators. We are a people who are hungry. I declare that over this church tonight, we will be a people of revival. We will be a people of change. We will be a people who are on the move and not staying the same. We will grow in you, Jesus. I declare it over every person in this life tonight. We will recognize who you are in our lives. We won't recognize just a building. We will recognize you in our lives. 
There's a lost and dying world, God, that needs your love. Let us find that same love to share with every person we know. Right now, if you're broken, if you're hurting, God hears you. Right now, if you've thought about suicide, God sees you. He didn't create you to end your life too early. He didn't create you to exit this world too early. His plan is still moving in your life. No matter where you're at, no matter the bank account, God has that plan. Come on, can you trust him and fall in his arms tonight? like a hurricane I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy and all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory and I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me. Oh, how he loves us so. tonight. It knows no bounds. Come on, your voice. He is jealous for me. Love's like a hurricane. I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy. Us. 
he is our prize drawn to redemption by the grace in his eyes if his grace is an ocean we're all sinking hey. so heaven me said like an unforeseen cast and my heart turns violently inside of my chest I don't have time to maintain these regrets when I think about Somebody lift your voice and tell him thank you for your love. For your love. I'm mean, you appreciate that he loves you tonight. <laughs> Do you realize what day this is? Somebody tell me what day this is. Valentine's Day. Do you know to show somebody we love them, we'll go out and buy flowers. How many of y'all bought flowers today for your loved one? Do you know, I just found out, do you know that on Valentine's Day, $1.7 billion, 1.7, that's a B, y'all, billion dollars, were spent on flowers today. See, that, they got it right there, but y'all didn't get it. $1.7 billion. That's a lot of money, isn't it? I said, that's a lot of money, isn't it? But how about love that God spent on us? We didn't pay a dime for it. Y'all don't understand. We've been trying to set an atmosphere of love all night long. I said, we didn't pay a dime for it. Matter of fact, the Bible is, it says it this way, while we were still sinners. I appreciate that kind of love. I was just kind of overwhelmed for a second. While I was still a sinner, Jesus said, I'm going to send you a bouquet of roses in the form of my blood that's going to wipe away every sin. That song says every regret. I ain't got time to meditate on the regrets of yesterday because God loves me that much. How are you glad he loves you tonight? Lift your voice and pray.
Come on, lay your hand on somebody's shoulder next to you. I'm about ready to preach something tonight that's going to set some people free. Love is a powerful thing. I said love is a powerful thing. Tonight, I believe the Holy Spirit is just going to pour out His love on somebody. You don't know. You don't even know. People are watching tonight. People in this room tonight. You don't even know. You put your hand on somebody's shoulder. You don't even know. It might be the first touch they felt all day long. Somebody maybe in this room tonight, nobody's even told you they loved you today. I want to tell you tonight with full confidence because I know it by experience, God loves you. Before you pray for your neighbor, look him in the eye and tell him God loves you. Go another step, say, God loves you, and so do I. Start praying for him right now. Father, we thank you for every person in this room tonight. We thank you for a love that's so extravagant, a love that's been poured out on us tonight, God, a love that is not like the world's love, God. Your love is unconditional. So, Lord, we speak that love into the atmosphere of every home, every family, every individual, those watching the Internet tonight, God. We declare the love, Father, tonight is going through where they're at right now into their hearts. We pray, God, for any person tonight that's never experienced your love. Let them feel your love tonight, God. Fill them up with your love, Lord, that will bring healing and life, and we'll praise you for it because you are the source of my love tonight in Jesus' name. Put your hands together one more time. Yeah, yeah. Run to 12 people because this is the year of order and tell them, God loves you and so do I. Go on, tell them, 12 people, God loves you and so do I. And you better mean it when you tell them. Come on. How many of you feel love tonight? Come on. I said, how many of you really feel love tonight? It's a powerful thing. It's a powerful thing. Push your neighbor and say, I love you anyway. You may be seated. You may be seated. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Valentine's Day. Look at your neighbor and say, happy Valentine's Day. Appreciate you being with us tonight. God's got a powerful word for you. going to change some lives tonight. We appreciate you're here right now. How many women I got in the house? How many women love your husbands tonight? <laughs> My wife got me a full body massage. I didn't say she gave me one. I said she got me one. <laughs> we want to invite all of our ladies, please register for the most powerful women's conference in this whole region, March 23rd and 24th, you need to sign up tonight in the foyer. Look at your, look at your neighbor and say, if you're a woman, you need to be here. Don't miss it. I said, don't miss it. Powerful speaker. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Women will be touched and set free. And new wives will come home. New girlfriends will come home. New daughters will come home. Isn't that great, y'all? Praise the Lord. So be involved in that. Be involved. And we know we got our seasoned warrior coming up Thursday night, or Thursday morning, excuse me, at 10 o'clock. So I'm just excited what God's doing. How many of y'all excited that ministry is going 24-7 at New Hope? I believe it. If this is your first night at New Hope with us, we want to love on you for a minute. I know we ran around hug next, but we want to really recognize and let you stand out as a guest of ours at New Hope. Amen? So if this is your first time, please stand to your feet. Somebody wants to come and shake your hand and hug your neck and make you feel the love of God. Any first-time guests, God bless you. All right. In the back, in the middle, let's go. 
Come on, right up front. Amen. Come on, New Hope, put your hands together for our guests. Somebody shout, we love you. Amen, amen. I always tell you this stuff because it's really important, uh, Ray. We've got people watching on the internet tonight. How many of you know that in the month of January, listen to this, it's amazing the effect that technology has and how many people will actually uh, click on New Hope and watch the service, either podcast, live, YouTube, all that. The whole month of January, through all the resources we have, video on demand, we had over 12,000 people watch this ministry for the month of January. Put your hands together for those watching tonight by way of internet. Come on, y'all, let them hear you. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Look at your name and say, what you going to do in February to love somebody? Tuesday night, New Hope's Valentine's Day service, or as some refer to it as Singles Awareness Day. Regardless, look over at the one you love and tell them you love them. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. We send the love of God out to you where you are tonight to let you know you are loved by us at New Hope and by God. So click that button tonight. We're sharing the love, going all the way around with our tithe tonight. You can be a giver, not only your life, but the 10% that's holy to God. You're partnering with us, and we're literally seeing lives change by the love of God, by our outreaches, our ministries, and all that we do of diversity and everything at New Up International. So thank you tonight for being a love partner with us. And get ready. A word's going to change your life tonight. Get to the park by 1 o'clock. We're going to be giving out free haircuts, free food, and we're just going to be loving on everybody. Love on our neighborhood. And last but not least, this Sunday, you don't want to miss it. It is our Black History Month celebration. We are doing things we've never done done before here at New Hope. We have an incredible presentation. You do not want to miss it. So invite people out. It's going to be an awesome day. Sunday, Black History Month awareness and celebration. i tell you one thing. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! It's New Hope. Thank you for joining us at New Hope International. All right, stand on your feet. How many married people I got in here tonight? I, you know, we're not trying to discriminate against the single people. But we got, we got some marriage stuff we got to take care of in a minute. But if you are a married couple and did not fill out one of our forms, lift your hand right now. An usher wants to put one in your hand. You're a married couple, anybody? We've got a few right here. We're giving away three different prizes tonight at the end of this service. So don't leave. we got a night stay at the courtyard Marriott. Who wants that? sounded horrible that really just sounded horrible married couples do I gotta teach y'all about atmosphere just getting out of the house in a different environment might help you so I'm gonna ask that one more time if you're a married couple tonight how many of y'all would like to hear that free night at the courtyard Marriott thank you so we're giving away several prizes. Don't, don't, don't leave uh, real quick tonight. Put that in the basket right now. And, you know, one of the evidence of love is a manifestation of our action. How many of you believe that? One of the actions we show that we love God is by obeying His principles. His principle is giving. God loves. You know, I've been studying about love for the last two days. I'm just telling you, the Bible is loaded with Scripture about love. God loves a cheerful giver. Hey, neighbor, he loves a giver that's hilarious, that's happy. And God said he loves it so much that he's going to bring it back to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. God's going to give it back to you. So how many tithers tonight are glad you're a tither? Lift your voice and your hand and all that. Father, we thank you for a, a happy tithe. <laughs> We thank you for a joyous tithe tonight that belongs to you. Receive it, God, because we do love you, love your word, love your promises, and love all your principles. And we put them into practice tonight because we're blessed to be a blessing in Jesus' name. Somebody shout, he loves me.
so many things I've got to tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how, because of the possibility that you look at me differently, look. Ever since the first moment I spoke your name, from then on I knew that by you being in my life, things were destined to change. Cause love, so many people use your name in vain. Love, those who have faith in you sometimes go astray. Love. Through all the ups and downs, the joy and hurt. Love. For better or worse, I still will choose you first. Love. Many days I've longed for you, wanting you. Hoping for the chance to get to know you. Longing for your grace, for your touch, your feel, your presence. Many nights I've cried from the things you do. Could thought about you dying for me and my sins. And no doubt, and no fears, and no questions. It's the thing that I want from Jesus now. So many people use your name in vain. Love. God, I want your love. I want your love right now. I want your love. And I want it for eternal life. At first you didn't mean that much to me, Lord. But now I know you're all I need, Lord. The world is so brand new with you, Lord. If you didn't die on the cross for me, I would be sinking in the sea, Lord. But you're here right now for me, Lord. I need your love. And I need your love right now, Lord. I can't live without your love. And I need it right now, Lord. And I need you right now, Lord. And your salvation saved my life, Lord. And I need your love. And I need it, and I want it forever. I say love. I don't know what else to say, but love is what the world needs today. God, we need your love. We don't need no perverted love. We need real love. The love that died on the cross for my sin, Lord. Said I need your love. And I need you now, Lord. And I'm so glad I don't have fake love right now. Cause I need your love and I got it now. And I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Love I won't. How about you? First John chapter four. I think I'm on 
hire Kevin to come out tomorrow night with me and my wife while we're eating. Let him just stand there and sing. 1 John chapter 4, you get it, say I got it. That's all the way toward the back of your Bible right before you get to Revelation. 1 John chapter 4. Let's start at verse, uh, let's start at verse 15. You got it, say I got it. It's on the screen, but I want you to find it. Learn your way through the Bible. Everybody good? Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. Watch this. You need to highlight this in your Bible. God is love. God is love. And he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as He is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love Him because He first loved us if someone says I love God and hates his brother he is a liar well I love the word just tells you like it is for he who does not love his brother whom he has seen how can he love God whom he has not seen and this commandment we have from him that he who loves God watch this must love his brother also. I want to ask a question tonight. What is love? You may be seated. You know, when you ask that question, what is love? You will get some of the most diverse answers from people trying to explain what love is. It's a, it's a question that, that goes beyond any other question when you start getting any variety of answer of what is love. Ask yourself right now, what is love? Here are some responses. My definition of love is someone that's willing to go to the farthest depths of the ocean, just someone that's going to be there, someone that's going to care. Love is just giving, and sometimes you have to give a little bit to get a little bit. It's funny, when I got married, I thought I knew what love was. And, you know, for me, it was certainly, you know, an aspect of love. But then having kids also um, was a different type of love. And that was, you know, almost a completion for love for me. Love is the best feeling of the world and the world that you have for your children. Love should be kind. Love is anything that you do for someone else, any type of selfless service that you do. God is love. God is love. And once you know Him, that, that creates within you the, the ability to love anybody. You see that various answers from people in our community that's trying to describe the question or the answer to that question, what is love? I looked it up on the internet. Psychology Today gave a powerful article about what is love. And it said in the article, love is so critical, watch, to the human mind and body as oxygen is. The air you breathe. Is that's how critical love is to the human mind and body. Because most people that are depressed, hear what I'm about to say. Most people that are depressed, they don't feel love by anybody. A matter of fact, most people that are depressed don't love themselves. Jesus said in Matthew 22 and 35, a lawyer came to Jesus and asked him this question. He said, teacher, what is the greatest commandment of all? Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your strength. And he said, the second is like the first. 
Notice now how he tied these together. The second is like the first. That you should love your neighbor as yourself. Did y'all get that? The greatest commandment of all the Bible is to love God with all your heart, soul, mind. And the second is like the first. To love your neighbor as yourself. So we see in the world, Jesus said, in the last days, the love of many are going to wax cold. How many of you see that now being demonstrated in our world how people will readily manifest hate quicker than love? And you see it even in the religious works of the church. When Jesus wrote the seven, uh, or John wrote the seven letters that was dictated by Jesus in the book of Revelation, you get to the first church, Ephesus. And Jesus said, I see your patience. I know your works. I know you hate evil. I know you've exposed those that say they're apostles and they're liars. But Jesus said, I have this against you. Isn't it amazing how Jesus said, I see you working right here. And I see you doing religious things. And I see you acting religious. But there's something he said that is still missing. And the power of what I'm preaching tonight is the lack of it is in the body of Christ. It's the lack of the motivation of why we do what we do when it's not demonstrated from a foundation of love. He said, you have left, not lost, you have left your first love. Now what would happen? If we all fell in love with Jesus again. Some of y'all look at me like, I love Jesus. But what would happen if we had that first love, man? Y'all remember that? Come on, somebody. Just me and Michelle remember it. Y'all remember that first love. I ain't talking about puppy love. That first love, I'm, I'm, I'm going to marinate this for a second. That first love you experienced when you said, Jesus, I do. Isn't that amazing? We still got residue from the celebration service still falling in the house of God. It's like the glory is still here from the Super Bowl service. I feel like it's the Holy Ghost. That every time I hit a great point, God just releases a little. Remember the first time that you you experienced the love of Jesus in your heart. Anybody remember that? I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember I wasn't raised in a Christian family, a Christian home. I didn't go to church. I I didn't know the love of God. And then when I married my wife, we went to church. And I remember as a sinner, I would go into the church that that she uh, was kind of raised in. And I felt a different kind of love that I had not felt even from my own family. It, It was a love that began to touch my heart. It was a love that began to draw me to a God I had never met to a relationship. I ain't talking about religion, y'all. I'm not talking about a denomination. I'm not talking about going to a church building. I'm not talking about acting religious. I don't know how to act religious because I've never been religious. And so I I never experienced that, that kind of love that just began to draw me. God literally wooed me with his love. Are y'all with me? And and when I finally surrendered and said, Jesus, I give you my life. One thing about the love of God, I didn't have it all together. I wasn't perfect. I wasn't towing a straight line. I didn't do everything right. Still don't do everything right. But I thank God that his love for me goes beyond my actions, goes beyond everything I've ever done but the only kind of love that you and I can compare, we try to compare the world's love to God's love and it don't work because in the world we are taught culture love 
In the world, we look around and we see entertainment and movies, and we want love to be like that. We, we see the, the, the instant, we want love that is instant gratification. Love that has strings attached to it. Y'all ain't hearing me. Love that, 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 that is emotionally driven is not the love I'm talking about. I found out today, I googled this and found out, but because this is the power of this instant gratification, that the porn industry, pornography, the porn industry, catch this Ray, in 2011, profited $14 billion in America. Y'all ain't hear me. Pornography has grown to corporation. $14 billion. And I've seen surveys, y'all, where when there's religious conferences in cities, in hotels, the porn viewing goes up. Y'all ain't hearing me. So that kind of love is how the world draws you to instant gratification when it comes to the love that you and I see as a love of lust. Come on, somebody. It's going to get better before it gets worse. I said it's that emotion-driven instant gratification that we think that how love is. But see, under the kingdom revelation, Anybody want to know the kingdom revelation? The kingdom revelation, if you can internalize this right here, if you can get a hold of this right here, then it will literally change your life if you can internalize this kingdom love. It's not instant gratification. It's not strings attached. It's not emotion driven. Say, I'm not emotion driven with my love for God. I just know that God loves me and I love God. And God said, I ain't got no strings attached with my love. Because, see, we as human beings have that phileo kind of love, that Greek word that says, I'll love you if you love me. Strings attached. That kind of love that says, well, if you hurt me, I stop loving you. Aren't you glad tonight that the kingdom revelation of God is a agape love, a love that says, no matter what you do, I'll still keep loving you. Because we were all under a death penalty. We were all under a death penalty. We were all sinners. The world is under a death penalty. And God so loved what was under a death penalty that he gave his all. Come on now. It's powerful revelation, simple truths. He gave his all. I'm not talking about religious acts. He said, I'm going to give you my son because I love this world. God don't hate this world. God don't hate sinners. God don't hate homosexuals. God don't hate lesbians. God don't hate adulterers. God don't hate liars. God hates the act of something, but he loves the person that acted. Y'all can sit there like you want to, but I know where I come from. Y'all can act like you've been religious all your life. That's what's wrong with some of you church people. You were raised in church and you were raised under a system. But see, you got to understand the system is not a religious system. It's a love system. So we were all under the death penalty. But Ephesians 2 and 4, write it down, says, But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, while we were dead in trespasses and sins. You know, you and I were walking dead men and dead women. Come on now. We were walking in death. We were walking death. But he said, God made us alive. 
Anybody feel alive in your relationship with God? Anybody feel life coursing through your veins and through your attitude and through your actions that is driven by the love of God? And he said, he's so rich in mercy. Anybody thank God that God is loaded in mercy tonight? He never runs out of mercy. I thank God for a bank account in heaven tonight through God that is rich in mercy. I don't know about you, but mercy, because of God's mercy, I'm not consumed. I'm about ready to preach because God's mercy. He don't look at me like an ant and just squish me out of life because of God's mercy. He says I'm faithful new every morning and thank God you're able to get up and say God, you love me today, God. I don't know how you do it. I don't deserve it, God. I can't earn it, Lord because the next verse said Ephesians 2 and 5, by grace you've been saved. Isn't it amazing, y'all, how that grace can reach through all the junk, all the pollution, all the wrongdoing and say I love that one. That's my child that's my daughter that's my son and I always will love him that's a kingdom revelation of a love tonight that goes beyond the emotional driven love of strings attached because we're not careful in the church we present an image that this love is performance based accepted I want the Holy Ghost to set some people free. Whether I do another good work the rest of my life, I'm going to tell you about God because you can't take out of what is God. (laughs) God is love. That you just can't, that's God's nature. You can't take it away from Him. It's nothing tied to it. It's just who He is. Think about how many people in the world need the kind of love you and I have experienced. Have you experienced it? I'm looking around to see. I said, have you experienced it? Romans 5, 8 says this. Says that. God commendeth his love. The word commit means I'm going to show you. Love is a force, man. Think about this church. If we fell in love with Jesus. You're saying, well, Bishop, I love Jesus. Well, hold on a second now. Think about if we all love Jesus. Think about if we all love Jesus. Come on now, y'all. We wouldn't hate nobody. Now, hold on. He said, how can I say I love God whom I've never seen? Anybody ever seen God? It was too much pizza. (laughs) Anybody ever seen God? Anybody? I'll give you the mic if you have. (laughs) See, you've seen God. No man has ever seen God. But we all say we know. Hold on a second. You mean you tell me you love a God you ain't never seen? Y'all must be crazy. (laughs) To love a God you have never seen. Hmm. But yet, we can't love. It's about to get a little heavy in here now. We can't love based on if you, you know, look like me, act like me, do everything I do, I'll love you. Don't ever do anything different with your hair, especially in one of Robins. Don't ever dress different. Oh, God, if you're black and you bring home a white girlfriend. But we love Jesus. We'll shout in church. Come on, y'all. Come on, black folks. We'll shout in church. But even in the church, you'll let a white person walk right by you and just kind of go. Now, I know no black people do that at New Hope. I'm just saying. Or white folks, or I don't, you know, you know, I just can't get with this religious thing that says, 
I love God. But we can't reach through barriers to love people that God literally died for. Come on, I'm trying to revolutionize this ministry tonight if we'll internalize the love that God has for us. Now, if I understand I don't deserve his love, I didn't earn it, I can't work for it, I wasn't good enough, didn't look good enough, I know that, didn't come from the best background, all that stuff, y'all, but God still loves me. When I didn't deserve it, I was yet a sinner. Christ died for me. Are y'all with me? Christ died died for me. What would happen in our community if God could find a people that would love unconditionally, not based on strings attached, not based on whether you interpret the Bible the way I interpret the Bible. We got more wars fought over religion than we do anything else. But God showed his love toward us while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. Isn't that good, y'all? Isn't that good? So now the scripture says, Perfect love cast out fear. Write this down. Love is an antidote to fear. Mm-hmm. Love is a, is a solution to fear. You don't have to walk in fear when you know love is flowing through your life. God's love. Are y'all with me? See, see, to internalize that is to understand the enemy can't lie to you no more. How does he lie to you, y'all? I'll tell you how he lies to you. He tries to put guilt on you. In your mind, start making you think that you're condemned by God. In your mind, to get you to think, well, if you do one thing wrong, God is going to strike you down. If you mess up, God hates you. And it's over for you, brother. You might as well give it up. The enemy will lie to you if you don't internalize what I'm preaching. A revelation is this. God's perfect love cast out fear. And us that fear have not been made perfect in love. The word perfect there means to be made complete and to mature. So see, that word again, mature, like I mentioned to you Sunday, is a word that you grow and process through. Now, I remember the day when I first got saved. I loved everything, everybody. I couldn't see anything wrong. I couldn't see anything. Then people tried to start teaching me religion. Thank God I escaped. Y'all ain't hearing me. And thank God my oldest son is still in the church because he could have been driven out by the way I was. Religious. No love. Religious. Everything was wrong. Everything was going to take you to hell. Y'all ain't hearing me. When I first got saved, I, I was told, brother, you can't wear shorts no more. What? I gave up my Budweiser and Leonard Skinner. Now you're going to take my shorts. (laughs) I mean, I carried, literally carried in that trailer park in Lynn Haven, Florida. Greg, I literally picked up a box. I was so stupid. If I had them albums right now, I could build the gym. I threw away collector stuff, man. Collections. I'm talking about every type of of music you can think of. I'm talking about the vinyl, y'all, the album, vinyl. I ain't talking about eight track CD or uh, cassette (laughs) or whatever now it is CDs and iPods and iTunes and download. I know. I I had, had the vinyl. I threw away stuff, man, Justin, like Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven. I threw away Aerosmith toys in the hat. Y'all ain't hearing me. I told my wife she had to throw away Ann Murray. <laughs> Some of y'all don't know who Ann Murray. I know the black people know who Ann Murray is. I told, we had to throw it all away. Linda Ronstadt's got to go too. <laughs> threw away Almond Brothers Fillmore East. I'm 
talking about religious. I'm talking about you can't wear shorts. You got to wear this. You got to do this. You can't do that. Women, you can't wear makeup. You can't wear jewelry. We had some of the ugliest women in church. Are y'all with me? Because we based our salvation on outward work. How our appearance was, y'all ain't helping me, how we look, and God forbid we supposed to not look like the world. Are you crazy? What do you mean not look like the world? Somebody tell me what the world looks like. <laughs> Love I'm talking about. You can't buy it. Now you can buy sex. You can't buy love. Can't buy me love. Not just a Beatles song. Can't buy me love. You can't buy love. You can't sell love. You can't trade love. No, baby. Love is inherently free to those that come under the grace of God and say, Lord, I present myself to you just like I am, God. God, you know what you got when you got me. You get everything you see, God. What you see, God, is what you get. If you can work with this, God, work with it. Somebody tell God, God, if you can work with this, work with it. Love is a force. The Bible says in Romans 5, 5, I'm almost done. The love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. The love of God has been poured out in our hearts. I look around sometime at church and I don't think it's been poured out on you. I think it's been trickled. Ask your neighbor, what dose have you got? A trickle or a pouring? Come on now. Trickled or is it poured out? The love of God has been poured out in our hearts. By the Holy Ghost. I love this. I've said this before and used this quote before, but it comes from the anointed prophet Jimi Hendrix. It says this. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. Whoa, that, that was probably prophetic on the LSD. Watch. It says, when the power of love, that's a good revelation. When the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. That is so awesome. I'm going to say that one more time. When the power of love, somebody say the power of love. When God's love gets in us and not the love for power. That's what's wrong in the world's love. We, want, we love power. But God said power of love will cause you not to be selfish but selfless. You heard that one man say over there, love is selfless. Love shows itself by action. Y'all heard that right? Shows itself by action. So watch this now. We know the world has a selfish kind of love. That's why Lucifer was thrown from heaven in Ezekiel 28, verse 17, that he, God said, you caused his own splendor to rise up, his pride and splendor. And, and Isaiah 14 says, Lucifer said, I'm going to put my throne above God's. I'm going to make my name greater than his. And God said, Lucifer, you can't stay in heaven being selfish it corrupts the atmosphere of love here. God Almighty. Lucifer, you are the anointed cherub who has the covering. That's what it says in Ezekiel. Isn't that powerful, y'all? Isn't that powerful that, that, that he was so anointed? He, the Bible calls his voice like pipe. He could set an atmosphere by opening his mouth. He, he led the worship in heaven for God. He was the anointed cherub. But there's something going on inside him that even God said, I see it, but I'm going to let it manifest. And I'm going to teach everybody that selfishness cannot stay in the atmosphere of my love. 
Y'all ain't hearing me. God can't deal with an atmosphere of selfishness that corrupts the power of a force of love. When people start getting selfish, they get selfish in church. If things ain't done their way, they get selfish. If they don't like the music, they get pride and don't worship. If they don't like how it's set up, if they don't like this, they don't like that, they start getting selfish. Because, see, it's all about you. We just live in your world. You ain't smiling, something's wrong. I said, in the atmosphere of love, selfishness gets in the way. Hmm. Now, everybody knows, uh, uh, uh. matter of fact, Caleb, don't put that on the board. Turn your mic on. Everybody, 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 I need 16 people, 16 people to turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 8. 16 people. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. It's 8.30. Uh, I'll be done. Y'all just come on, Jake. Get ready. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up right now. I need 16 people. All right, you have to follow me. I want 16 people to get it. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 through 8. Four, four, verse 4 through 8. Tell me when you get it. Tell me when you get it. 16 people. Are you there? Who's got it across this whole front row? Somebody count 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll start with Lisa. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's it right there. All right, Lisa. Chapter 13, verse, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4. Greg, put the mic in front of her face. Just say the first thing. First thing love is, you just say one thing. Suffers long. All right. Come on, Ray. Love does what? And is kind. It does not envy. Does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. Not rude. Hold on, it's not rude. Doesn't seek his own. Right. It's not provoked. Right. Yes, yeah, go right there. Go right there. Thinketh no evil. Uh huh. Does not rejoice in iniquity. Right. It always protects. Right. Always trusts. All right. What? Keeps no record of wrong. Now y'all done messed me up. <laughs> Where, where's the next one? Come on. Bring it back down here. Always what? Hope. Always what? Hope. All right, keep going. Endures all things. It does what? Endures all things. It does things. what? Endures all, all right. things. All right, come on. Give me somebody else. Love never fails. What? Oh, 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 what? Love never fails. Say that again. Love never fails. Say that again. Love never fails. That's it. Sixteen characteristics of not strings attached love. Come on, somebody. I asked you a question. What if all of us love Jesus? Because Paul said at the beginning of that chapter, I can speak in tongues like angels of men and have not love. I am nothing. I can be like clashing cymbals and sounding brass, but if I have not love, I am I can give my body to be burned and feed the poor, but if I have not Y'all ain't hearing me. I'm nothing. Do you understand what I'm trying to get at tonight? What is love? God is love. Love is unselfish. Love is kind. Love is patient. Love endures all things. Love puts up with some stuff that you don't want to put up with. Do you think I'd still be married after 32 years if me and her didn't put up with each other sometime? How about it, y'all? Because let me give you a piece of wisdom after 32 years of marriage. I think I can say a little bit of wisdom. Love is a decision. Do you you feel like you want me right now? Do you feel it? Let me rephrase that. That's just kind of a little Valentine thing. Do you always feel like you love me? No. I don't feel like I love you all the time. <laughs> let, me, let me help you out men, though. But I still want you. Anyway, so... <laughs> 
That's how men are, man. We don't care. We'll cuss each other out. Let's have sex, baby. She said what? <laughs> Ain't that right, men? Y'all better help me. I'm sorry. Y'all better play and get me out of this trouble. So love is, is a force, and love is action, love is power. But watch this, I'm done. Play, 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 play. If, if, if we are so diverse in the body, and we are so of different cultures and backgrounds, I'm talking about in the body. I don't want a church of lookalikes and do-alikes. And, do y'all? But love is able to walk with each other through the diversity. Because everybody in this room watching my internet, we all at different places in life. Jesus said in John 13, 34, He said, love each other the way I love you. And the world, who's going to know? The world is going to know that you are my disciples by the love you have, watch this, for each other. I'm not talking about us, first of all, trying to love sinners. I'm talking to us, first of all, trying to love each other. Because if we can't get it together in here, Paul said, y'all want some more? I'm done. I can just keep going all night. Paul said in Galatians 5.22, watch this, 5.22. Tell your neighbor, it's what you're connected to is what you produce. Tell them again, it's what you're connected to is what you produce. Paul gave nine fruits of the Spirit. Nine. Galatians 5.22, he also gave you above that the works of the flesh, which are always fighting against the Spirit. So he said the fruit, the fruit, somebody say the fruit. Fruit is evidence of a root. Are y'all with me? Fruit. Fruit is evidence of a root. Now I can shout about love, sing about love, and talk about love, and we can all say all about love, but I'm telling you what, if I ain't got no fruit to my root, I got the wrong root system. The fruit of the Spirit is what? This is not hard, y'all. What I've been preaching on, the first one is the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, kindness, temperance, faithfulness, goodness. Nine fruits. First one is love. That is the first evidence of what I'm connected to is going to be love. Now, we just read 16 characteristics of love, did we not? We just learned about God as love. We didn't learn about instant gratification. We didn't learn about, you know, selfishness and strings attached. I ain't talking about none of that. I'm talking about a kingdom love. But now understand something. If I'm connected to the right source of love, then now I'm free to understand that God will always love me. And if I know God always loves me, then I love Him. Because wait a minute now, let me help you something. A lot of us are waiting for something supernatural to happen so we will love each other. It ain't going to happen like that. Love is a decision and a choice. When you get saved, then now I choose to love this man right here. Why? Because God loved me. Love is a decision. Quit waiting on God to make you love somebody. He ain't never going to do it. So you grow in this. You grow in this kind of love. Stand to your feet. Romans chapter 8. I got one more. Romans chapter 8 verse 31 says, If God be for us, who can be against us? Somebody say, If God is for me, who can be against me? Somebody say, If God is for me, who can be against me? Somebody say, God is for me. Who can be against me? Paul said in verse 38, he said, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, angels nor principalities, powers, things present, things to come will be able to separate me. I'm going to say it again. I am persuaded that neither death nor life, angel, principality, power, things present, things to come will be able to separate me from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus 
our Lord. If you can internalize this revelation, you will get up every day and thank God he loves you. You will lay down every night and thank God he loves you. Though you ain't going to be perfect and though you ain't going to do everything right, God's love can change the hardest heart. God's love can touch the hardest man's heart, the hardest woman's heart. God's love can soften the most evil sinner. God's love can reach through the corruption of sin and the stain of hurt and pain and brokenness. And God's love can heal you tonight. He said, I am persuaded. Anybody been persuaded by the love of God that nothing is going to separate you from that love because if the devil can separate you from it it ain't a God kind of love the devil can't do anything to separate you from what you're connected with and it's going to start bearing fruit and loving others that will create a revolution that will tear down racial walls denominational walls poverty I don't care what it is background how you were raised I'm just simply talking about the love of God that can heal you tonight join somebody's hand hurry I felt this today when I was when I was getting ready I told them in my office before we prayed God spoke to me clearly in my spirit. I heard God loud in my spirit. And God said, tonight, there is going to be one person in this building tonight that God is going to overwhelm you with his love. So I got my team together back there and I said, let's pray that God was going to, I said, I know this is simple and and, and we all said, but sometimes the simplest things that can be the most powerful things. I don't know who you are tonight. I don't know who you, I don't know who you are. You're holding hands with somebody. It could be you watching somewhere. But I feel this tonight before we leave. God is wanting his love to touch somebody. To overwhelm you. Mm, to just internalize it. I think for so long we got so much church and so much religion. We have forgotten the power of God's love for us. He loves you. That's more than just a generic statement. God loves you. That's powerful. Just want you to start praying. I just, I can't let that go before I let you go. Somebody in this room, anybody, if the Holy Spirit's speaking to you, drop that hand and come to this altar and say, that's me, Bishop. I just... I need, I need that love. God just wants to pour out on me. That love he wants to pour out on me. Just tell him, excuse me, excuse me. That's right, come on down. Just lift your hand. I just receive it. Come on, come on, come on. That's you. Just come on. Come on, just receive that. There's nothing like the power of God's love. It don't matter where you're hurting at, where you're separated at. What you feel like you've done and can never be forgiven. I tell you the devil is a liar. God's love can break through that tonight. I receive your love. I know. Pour out your love. Pour out your love. I receive, I receive Pour out your love. You got to receive it. You got to receive it. Receive his love. You got to receive it. Oh, Lord, I know. Come on. Come on, receive it. Come on, lift your heart. Just receive. Let his love overwhelm you. Let his love overwhelm you. 
Let his love touch you. Let his love just touch you. Let his love bring healing. Let his love bring healing. Come on, come on, come on. I receive. I receive it tonight. I just receive your love. Let it bring healing. Let it bring strength. Real quick, real quick, lay your hands on your neighbor's shoulder. I want God tonight to cause our love to mature. I want God's love to cause it to break through barriers, through us, through us. If you're watching the internet tonight, the power of God's love in your life can change where you are at. People around you. People need to be loved, y'all. If psychology today says the most cause of depression is they don't feel love or don't love themselves, think how many people you work with every day that don't love themselves. Think how many people you come in contact, I come in contact with, that don't feel loved by anybody. It's powerful. I said it's powerful. Hey! Powerful. God touched this place. Hey, God. Touch this place, God. As you were in the world, so are we. Jesus, you walked around and you loved everybody. And you showed it by your actions. Help us, God. We can't do this kind of love on our own. Pour out your love in us. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hey, God. Cause us to be transformed in our actions. That we'll love each other. We'll love our brother who we can see. Because we say we love you who we can't see. In Jesus' name. Now hug somebody around you that you don't know. Go find somebody you don't know. We're fixing to draw for the prizes. Go around and hug somebody you don't know. Tell them, I love you in God tonight. Tell them, I love you in God. Come on, all over this room. Go hug somebody you don't know. Find somebody you don't know. Say, I love you in God tonight. I receive it. Do you receive it tonight? Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. Somebody shout, I receive it. Somebody shout, I receive it. Everybody, everybody, grab a yellow envelope. This is called a love offering. <laughs> I said, this is called a love offering. This is called a love offering. God loves a cheerful giver. This is called a love offering. Everybody get an offering out. This is called a love offering. I'm going to give it to Jesus tonight to do his work on the earth. No strings attached. No strings attached. This is a love offering. Valentine's Day. It's a love offering. If we can spend $1.7 billion on flowers that are going to die, look good for a moment then fade away you can sow a seed that's eternal that's going to change somebody's life get your love offering out now you need to go to iTunes tonight download that song from Love 24 called The Shining I've already downloaded mine you can download it 99 cent everything we get next month once we get all the results in I think they get it once a month It'll go into their Impact Center account. So tell your friends. Everybody going to help us. It's only 99 cents. Everybody download it tonight on iTunes. Download it tonight. Tell your friends about it. It'll help our Impact Center. Hold your love offering up. About to draw for the courtyard. Marry y'all. Father, we thank you for love. Receive this love offering, Jesus. Cause it to change lives around us. Bless the givers tonight, Father. In Jesus' name. 
I want my ushers to receive it. Y'all get the baskets and let's go through the aisles and let them receive it, all right? How many married couples are ready right now? Hey, what y'all got planned? Y'all got something planned? You do the song? Okay, get ready. I wanted Kelly to hit that thing one time about Whitney Houston. That'll be Sunday. Oh, Sunday, excuse me. We can do it now if you want. No, that's all right. Just, just one, just one, just one. Can we do a little piece? Just one let's verse. Do it. Let's do it. Come here, Pear Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Whitney Houston. How many of y'all love Whitney Houston? I said, how many of y'all love Whitney Houston? I, you know, I tweeted this about two weeks ago from my office at Starbucks. I said, there is nothing like Whitney Houston singing gospel music. I tweeted that. I did. Because I love Whitney Houston. She was an awesome, awesome talent. Awesome, awesome individual. And we pray for her family. I heard Bishop T.D. Jake say this today. Whitney Houston, or said it Sunday at his church, Whitney Houston, though she was an enormous icon, personality, whose life went to tragic routes and different things of bad things happened to her, she was still a mother and somebody's daughter. Isn't that right, y'all? So we need to pray for families and not criticize people. You, never, you can't never criticize somebody whose shoes you've never walked in. Isn't that right? I said that's right. So get your offering. Don't nobody leave. Can I just hear that one time? Yeah, I just. I hope life treats you kind. And I hope you have all you dreamed of. And I wish you joy and happiness. But above all this, I wish you love. Sunday. Now you gotta right. come Sunday. You gotta come back Sunday. All right, here we go. That was rude, wasn't it? That wet your appetite. You'll be back Sunday, won't you? Oh! This is her third prize. You can take your sweetheart to Starbucks and spend $50. That's gonna be Mr. and Miss McGee. Been married 10 years. Who is that? Give it up, y'all. Been married 10 years, double digit. Y'all go to Starbucks and get you a Frappuccino. Second prize is a Ben Franklin, a $100 bill. You can do what you want with that. That's going to go to John Hamilton, 13 years. And Keisha, come on, girl. 13 years. And the biggie, Courtyard Marriott. It's going to Jeff and Lisa Poole. Oh, no. It is going to Andy Woods. Been married 22 years. Take us out, Jay. Hug your neighbor and say, download this song right here. This is Love 24, guys. Every proceed, every fund that you put for this song goes towards the Kingdom Impact Center. It's going to get built. You guys believe it? Well, I've fallen all the way for you. Nothing has ever made me feel so new. Your love never fades away. It keeps my heart singing through the pain. And I will stop praising you. And I will back down the truth. I fell my destiny and it's all because of you. You know it's safe. Today I shout it out. I love you with all my life. Yeah, nothing can take your place. Shining through my life and I can never go a day without your love. New Hope's going worldwide tonight. I too. Now I'm living life oh so free Uncontainable and heavenly This love, yeah, it's changing me Forever my heart will say I won't stop praising you And I won't back down the truth Cause I found my destiny And it's all because of me Here we go, say Today I shout it out. Oh, I love you with all my life. 
but you know it's true And I'ma do what you call me to That's what I pursue Forever chase a never ending race Thankful for your grace And your love, love. there is none above That's what I can say And I can say Whoa. Okay Whoa. Okay I need yeah. your love Cause there is none above Whoa. Lord, I need your love Whoa. Lord, I need your love need Yeah your love. Happy Valentine's Day, sir Happy Valentine's Day, New Hope!